guys, Tim Wright here, coming to you with a new series called Tim Wright Vlogs. In, the, in this series, I'm gonna be answering uh, life questions, life questions. And number one question that I have been asked maybe a hundred times now on my Instagram account and via email is why Timmy, why did you decide to retire at the age of 32? What was the reason? So I thought about it, I thought about it. I wasn't gonna address it, I wasn't gonna address it. But then I thought, you know what? Not really doing anything. Just got my coffee for the day. Gonna go grab uh, lunch and I figured, you know what? I'll make a video about it and I'll give you six reasons. I came up with six reasons that I decided to retire. Why did I decide to retire? Well, reason number one, and I think this is the most important reason. Number one is that the, the 30, age 32, it's actually really old. If you think about it, it wasn't until like a hundred years ago that people used to live only up to the age of freaking 35. People used to die like at this age, this was it. This was it guys. People used to live the average age until people lived was 35. So I'm 32. That's, if you think about it, the retirement age for human society actually should be 30. So why did I retire so late? I think that is the real question. Why did I retire so late? And I gotta tell you, the reason I retired so late is because I just couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford to retire earlier. I couldn't afford it. Um, I, I wasted a lot of time studying. Uh, wasted a lot of time in high school then wasted even more time in uh in college man i didn't just try to get a, a bachelor's degree but also master's what a waste of time i could have been working i could have been uh, employed i could have made a lot of money by the age of 30 and i could have retired at 30 but yeah it took very very long time for me to to retire so i didn't retire early i retired late really really late because i was poor i'm still am still am but there's certain things that made me a lot more comfortable at retiring at 32. so that was reason number one what is what is the second reason. Ooh, I'll try this what is the second reason for me to retire at 32? Well, look guys, it's not that I'm lazy, but I gotta tell you, I never enjoyed hard physical labor. It's just something about working and working really hard and waking up to an alarm clock beeping. It, I never found, I never found working to be enjoyable in any, in any case, shape or form. It's just something, something about me. I don't know, I know most people, I know you'll say, yeah, but most people enjoy working really hard for almost no pay. But I'll tell you this, I didn't, and it's weird, it's weird. You know, I had a long, long history of employment. I worked at the pool, I worked at a different pool, I worked at, a lot of different jobs. I worked with, for my family, you know, and it's just, I don't know what it is. I think, I think it had to do 
with being forced to do a lot of manual labor when in Ukraine. When I was growing up in Ukraine, my grandmother, she had a field and we had to, you know, blow the field. We had to plant all the food. It was very, very hard. And while most people, I understand, of course, most people enjoy waking up at the crack of dawn and then working their ass off until uh, until evening. I never did. So that's number two. Reason number two, I decided to retire. Working hard is just not very pleasant for me. I never found it enjoyable. Mm. I, I much prefer playing video games at home than uh, working really hard. Reason number three is I don't really like to be kind of yelled at so it's not a huge fan of authority and like bosses and shit it's just there's something about yeah i know you'll say but i love uh coming to work late and getting yelled at for for being five minutes late because i needed i needed my morning coffee to wake up i know i know i know most people enjoy being yelled at but I kind of never did. I don't know. It's just, it's a kind of weird thing about me. So when, uh, it's kind of why, why I was fired by, by my family, right? Like they came to me, they, they wanted this, they had the sticker on the door and they said, Hey Timmy, take that sticker off because we're reopening. And I told them, Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. If you take that sticker off, it's going to damage the paint underneath then the whole door is going to be needed to to be painted just put another sticker on top of the old one problem solved but they were like no no we said it like this you have to do it the way we said it and then guess what they were yelling at me for not doing the way i thought it had to be done guess what i took the sticker off bam the paint came off then the door needed to be painted fuck and guess what as i already told you i hate hard physical labor and painting doors is not easy guys it's not easy so then i had to paint the door i didn't do it correctly and they're just like oh you're just fucking around and they fired me point is i'm not a huge fan of just kind of being yelled at i know you guys are I know a lot of people out there, and most people enjoy being yelled at the first, the first thing they get, uh, they get to work. But I kind of never do it. Well, the reason number four I decided to retire is that I kind of went minimalist. You know and when you're a minimalist then you don't need really anything uh, I decided to stop buying useless junk useless shit just stop stop accumulating and hoarding things except a few watches so once I went minimalist then suddenly it became the need to work basically disappeared because if you think about it, guys, why why are you working? Why are you working? Probably because you want to buy a car, a house, education for your kids. Well, guess what? I don't want none of those things. I don't want I don't want the kids. I don't want the house. Well, first of all, I will never, even if I was working, probably would never be able to afford house because they're so expensive. You guys know how much a house in Brooklyn costs? Man, I would have to work for freaking 20 years to afford one at a minimum wage. Yeah, 
That's never gonna happen. I'm gonna be dead by then. So, the moment I decided, hey, I don't want any more material goods except a few watches, whew, the, the need to work has disappeared, disappeared. All I need is my Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the morning, and that's it. And that's it. As long as I keep, can afford the coffee in the morning, I think I'll be happy. And uh, yeah, that's the reason. Number four. Sorry guys. Because the reason number four was very distracting. What about the reason number five? Well, I've actually really enjoyed the past uh, six to eight months of unemployment. Yep, being unemployed, unemployable, never, never to be employed, was kind of good. I enjoyed, I enjoyed my time. It was the good times, it was the bad times, but it was kind of fun. I got a bit of a spring in my, in my walk. Anyways, it was good. You know, I learned so much about myself by, uh, by being unemployed, mainly the previous four reasons is that it, you know, I was able to enjoy my time a lot more you know no more waking up freaking at the crack of dawn to go and work my ass off yeah anyways you know being unemployed is actually not that bad it's not as bad as people make it out to be right i know everyone says oh it's scary what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but doing nothing is actually it's actually kind of cool you know just why should nobody's nobody's asking the question and nobody's asking the question why should you be waking up and doing something right like think about it. isn't that isn't that the trick isn't that aren't, haven't you been been fooled isn't that isn't the question not what should i do today but why should i do something today I think that's a much better question. Why should you do something? Get it? Yeah. And guys, what is the last reason? Hey. <laughs> the last reason, what is the last reason I decided to retire at 32? Well, number one reason guys that I got the watch. I got my Panda Daytona. That's it. I got the Panda Daytona. I got it for my 30th birthday. I should have retired right there and then. When I got the Panda Daytona at retail, I should have said, well, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I've got the Daytona. I've got the watch. I've got the wristwatch of my dreams. I should have quit right there and then, but listen, I stuck around for another two years because I thought, well, maybe, maybe this is not the meaning of life. But you know, ever since uh, I got this watch, everything else was kind of pale by comparison. So, gotta tell you guys, once you get your Daytona at retail, let's call it quits call it quits turn off the camera stop working and start having fun all right guys well if you enjoyed this video don't forget to upvote like comment subscribe hit the bell icon and I, I hope you come on to my live streams where we chit chat and have fun every single day all right I'm gonna go have some lunch and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours where your watches.